So today we're shooting our fashion feature for our September issue of Chatelaine. We shot at um, Glenarm Estate, which is this fabulous estate in Northern Ireland. So we cover everything from a feeling to a piece to something that you want to get for the season. And the whole feeling of just like rich, beautiful textures was just like a no-brainer when we got there. I love the idea of mixing prints and all of that as well. As soon as we got there, it had a whole Alice in Wonderland feel to it. Okay. Yeah. behind the scenes what you guys do at a photo shoot and you get to travel which is awesome okay Tyler French everyone give him a big <laughs> hand he's here with the studio and we have our models posing so lovely around yeah. the fall trends and I was explaining to our audience I'm sorry it's been fall for about five months in the fashion world I know, it's so true. we got to talk I'm over about it. it I'm ready for spring 2015 actually you're ready for spring yeah. already <laughs> this is how it works especially in the magazine world so let's talk about fall trends uh, it kind of makes you want fall because they are so awesome yeah trend number one we have here I'm assuming this is something to do with menswear inspired That's exactly it yeah. so um, as you probably saw from the video we touched on a lot of trends and one of them was this menswear inspired trend um, there's so many ways that you can bring this pe these pieces into your wardrobe. Um, yeah. A great way is with just a classic button-up. I love this with black with the white contrast. Um, a it. lot of women stress out about the white shirt, so forget about the white shirt and find the black shirt. Oh, there you go. Um, the menswear-inspired pant, which is just a really beautifully tailored pant in a menswear-inspired print. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's got the feminine update with the cropped length, so you can show off that great shoe. Such a nice look. Um, another great print, if you want to step down from there, Sarah. Um, is the buffalo plaid and this is something that we see season after season which is just those like really rich especially in Canada those amazing like La Canadian Canadian prints. tuxedo y'all exactly um, I, I actually really like this though in the cut of this uh, jacket that's beautiful and I love mixing prints too and it's really easy to mix menswear inspired prints whether it's a houndstooth a plaid a tartan they all go together when you put them together so it's yeah. really easy if that's what you want to go for a nice spot of color as well because I find fall comes around and everyone goes straight to the black and white which we will see a lot of right. but it's nice if you can throw a pop of color in yeah, there exactly. Exactly. Okay, um, so let's now try you in the black and white. Yeah, and then let's put more <laughs> black and white on. Um, I mean, black and white's so easy, right? So, it is. Um, so this is a great coat. Everything here, by the way, is from um, Pink Tartan. Ooh, that's and, nice. Um, this is really great because it's sort of like a car coat, so it's got all that extra room for you to layer underneath. Yeah. Um, and then the double-breasted feature at the bottom, but still keeping a really nice feminine silhouette with the lapel. Very nice. Put them all on, because then you look rich. Exactly. <laughs> Just layer it <laughs> on. It's money. true. I like that. Okay, so then also, let's talk about the silhouettes for the skirts. Are we seeing a lot of this more A-line um, style coming out in fall? Right, so I have both an A-line and a pencil skirt up there, and I yeah. think they're both really important styles for fall, um, and both really easy to wear and mix and match with your existing wardrobe. And um, here's just an example of that really strong menswear print too, but like on really feminine, sexy silhouettes. Yeah, absolutely. And you'll notice the length. So we're, we're going down to the knee or lower. Yeah, lower, right? I think. Um, nice. Yep, to the knee, like somewhere in between a midi length, I think is really great too. And all you really need there is a little bit of lift in the shoe. For sure. Yeah. I like a little lift. A little Thank lift. you, honey. Okay, <laughs> let's go on to our next trend now. Ooh, so what is it, Tyler? Is it floral? It's very dramatic, and I um, love the color. Yeah, so from the video as well, like I actually showed this exact look in our September issue, and um, it's that sort of digital floral print that is really mm -hmm. feminine, but um, does sort of mix this kind of like updated feeling as well. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> sorry, do you want to switch with me, Tracy? Yeah, sure. Let's switch a <laughs> Make it a little bit easier for my arm's length. Okay. Um, so sweaters. And so yeah, an angora or mohair sweater is something that you're going to see for fall. And okay. um, I love it in this kind of color as well. The richness of the mustardy and that jewel tone I think picks up really nice on red and like the feminine silhouettes and colors for the fall season. The mustard um, kind of reminds me of 1985. I'm not going to lie. But look how like updated, my whole wardrobe how, was but mustard doesn't it feel updated and burgundy. With this, though? <laughs> it depends what you wear. It I with, love right? it. I love a soft sweater. I think that you know that's kind of the nice thing about the weather getting a little bit chillier. Yeah, I love this necklace too. This is something one of the biggest trends for fall we're seeing is this like I'm calling it the pretty tough. So we're seeing like mixed metals, but then with pearls and like lots ah, of feminine accessories mixed in as well. Lovely. Um, and I love that she was wearing a dress that would work for like a wedding, a night out, and throwing a sweater over top of it makes it office appropriate. So you're sort of right. getting a skirt. 
and address in one. Very cool. Now the moto jacket, um, which doesn't seem to go anywhere, and no, I'm happy about that. No, the moto jacket is back again. We're just seeing it getting more and more updates. So this one in a print is something that's for sure new for the season. Yeah. Um, and when look shopping for a moto jacket, you want to look for soft leathers, things that aren't too, too masculine. And then you can actually have fun with the moto updates. Oh, cool. And everything here is from 424 Lord and Taylor that's sold at the Bay. Very cool. Would you wear that all together? Um, I think she can pull it off all together. <laughs> Allie can pull off like a paper bag. Come on. For the average woman walking around, probably you want to pick, you want to pick a print, right? Yeah, you probably want to stick to one. Unless you're super high fashion and then you can do whatever you yeah. want. No, this is kind of cool. This is really cool. So for fall, we're seeing all of these classic silhouettes updated with A-line structures. Mm -hmm. So whether it's a sweater, a jacket, a skirt like this, which is a really, really fun, easy way to like bring a trend into something that you've already had existing. Right. And is this uh, is Throw this that like on. cape? Look yeah, how cool no this is. So this looks I, very dramatic. I love cape. Like I yes. need to do it like Whip this. It <laughs> Oh, um, it does have sleeves. Does. Well, the does best, it? Yeah. Uh, well, oh, there no we go. sleeve. It has a hole. But the okay, best part about this is it has a shoulder pad, so you can wear your purse on your shoulder. Ooh, and I they usually love it. never have that. Okay, let me just fix that. Sorry, like I need that. You that there. No, that's you. okay. <laughs> and now, don't I look like Dynasty? <laughs> Like, you have to only have dramatic scenes in this jacket. Exactly. Tyler, I loved it. Good. Very good fall fashions. Give him a big hand, everyone.